Well, welcome back. Well, finally, we're ready to flow test. Um, I'm going to run you through manually flow testing a cylinder. And the reason I believe this is real important, it's kind of like you driving, learning how to drive a manual transmission. Um, if you know how to drive a manual transmission, you kind of know how the car works, what, what the transmission is, what it does do, what it doesn't do. Same thing here. If you ever have a problem with your machine, and you will, if you know how to run it manually and you have manometers, you can always do that and forget about the computer. We use the manometers to check the computer and the computer to check the manometers. They should be extremely close and complement one another. So what we have is a, uh, a sheet that we will fill out whenever we're teaching somebody how to float test for the first time. They do several heads manually. We don't even get them into the computer and we'll post this on our website if you want to use it. Uh, teachers, if you have students in a school, this is the way that I would teach them. Um, what I'm going to do here is simply fill this out as I do the flow test. It basically has an area for the flow range and what the meter is, it has a place for leakage that just, that's just uh, reminding me to check the leak and then it has a place for CFM. It's just math. That's all it is. So you're just filling in a percentage of that particular flow range. We're going to do most of the testing on flow range number four. And our flow range number four is 303 CFM at 100%. Okay? So we're going to be flowing less than 303%. And it's just a matter of what percent lower we're going to be flow testing at. And that's going to be uh, on this particular um, horizontal manometer here, this is going to give us the percent of that particular flow range. Then as we get down to the lower lifts, we're going to shift to a lower flow range because it's a little bit more accurate. I would rather, once we get down to 100 and 200 left, I would rather be flow testing at 70 to 80 percent of 153 CFM, which is the 100 percent of that particular range, rather than down around 20 or 30 percent of the 303 range. Another thing that we do when we flow test manually is on the sheet here we have 101, 202, 303 all the way up to 707. The reason I do that is because when I'm opening up the valve I can go ahead to 7654 and that will remind me where I am. If I get interrupted or I say okay where am I now uh, I can always look at that and know that I'm at 500 versus maybe at 400. And it'll make it a little bit easier when I do the test. Okay, So I'm going to do an actual flow test and I'm going to be writing the numbers down here. And then when we're done, uh, we'll go ahead and uh, give you those numbers. And we maybe we'll do the math, maybe we won't. That's not real critical right now. But I just want to show you again how to manually run this machine. The other thing you want to do is I'm going to start at my high lift. I'm going to start at 600 and work down. I'll explain a little bit more of the theory about that later, but I think that's extremely critical when you flow test. Don't start at 100 and move up. Start at your top range and move down. So right now I'm at 606 lift. I'm going to turn on the machine. We're on uh, flow range uh, 4 and 4.
all of my data. So now all I have to do is go ahead and take the, uh, the percentage, like at 505 lift, I was at 82%. I have zero leak. So basically I take um, uh, 82% of, of my particular range, which was 303, and that's the flow I had at 505. At 404, I had 75%. So I take 75% of 303, and that's my airflow. When I got down to the lower ranges at, at 101 and 202, my, my flow range is 153 at 100%. So at 200 lift, I had 79.6. That's 79.6% of 153. And that is how you gather the data manually. Now, as soon as you start to use a computer, you're never, ever going to want to do this manually. It's just kind of a pain. But I think it's very important to know how to do it manually. So if you ever have to, you can. And again, it's great to check your manometers versus uh, the computer. Um, so if you have any questions, um, go ahead and post them. Any comments, do that also. And we'll see you for the next installment in a little bit.